The Vigilant Novice has come out with more heretical videos. In this video, we're going to look at who he's supporting now. This video put out October 25th, 2015. He's going on and talking about how he's supporting this woman right over here. The other side of darkness. The other side of darkness. Here you see who he's promoting. You see this hand sign right here? This is very, very, very peculiar. Not only is it peculiar, but if you listen to what the Vigilant for Undermining Scripture is saying, completely undermining, completely undermining the Word of God. Let's listen to it. Uh, if the Christians who believe that it's okay to uh, get dressed up as gob goblins, ghouls, and devils and send our kids out to follow after the vain traditions of men based on the glorification of evil. If you can't uh, have this ex-witch knock some sense into you, well... The supposed ex-witch here, now you're going to see the ex-witch, the ex-witch right here, the supposed ex-witch that is showing her finger, you see right here on the neck where they like to touch their neck, this is declaring that the Eastern Star Masonic Mind Control Slave here is actually going to obey her death oath, you see? Because when they swipe the finger across underneath the neck, they're declaring that within the Masonic Lodge they swore the death oath, and they're touching the part by which the knife will go because of the death oath they swore. She's giving the duping delight there. You see the woman right here, who she is. Beth, and Mario says that because she left her Halloween costume of gothic witchcraft, and now she's turned into this conservative lady, supposedly, right? This is what these Gnostics always do when they're putting out their Eastern Star red fraternal colors in the duality of the other side of darkness. You know, the other side, there is no other side of darkness. Darkness is darkness and light and darkness do not have another side this is a yin and yang duality right here this is not the biblical understanding about what darkness is but people have been so mind controlled that they don't understand the difference between what is light and what is darkness darkness within it has no light but here she says the other side of darkness as though there is an other side to darkness. There is no other side to darkness. Darkness is darkness, and light is light, and the two, in biblical terms, do not ever mix. They only mix when people abide in sin. But here you go. We're going to expose some more of this, because really what Mario is doing in this video here, where he writes X, which, he's really undermining the passage of Scripture that we're going to look at. Now, Isaiah the prophet in Isaiah 3.12 said, As for my people, children, that is novices, are the ones oppressing, and women rule over him. You see, the whole point of what's going on here in the New Age Gaia spirit of the age is that women, as you see them right here with the Rothschild, the head one that's trying to become president, Women want to rule over men. This is what it boils down to. And this is all coming out of, again, the Masonic fraternities. Here you see some of the things they're into. See the same color she wears right here? This is the same color you're seeing on the banner. You see it right here? The same thing you see on her banner. You even see her wear the same color. It could be anything pinkish, red. And these people here, they want people to abide in the sins of Mystery Babylon. This is what this is all about. The fraternity of the Masonic dogma of the feminists of the day that are really serving Satan. Really serving Satan. Now let's look at some of the images here. You see right here it says membership in the benevolent fraternal organization making a difference in the world. You see Peace Chapel. You saw it there. Let's look at it again. The Peace Chapel. One of the doctrines that this supposed ex-witch is coming out and talking about is the fact that she's now going to teach while she's giving the Freemasonic hand sign right here where she's going to keep her death oath. 
and life and my story of being a new Christian and how God has amazingly changed my life. You know, this is what they always say. They always come out and say, oh, God just changed my life. You never see tears on these people. They just come out and tell stories and never show the tears of regeneration and being born again. Like I've told people, when I got born again, I spent months in tears and shock of the fact that I was completely lost and had come to know who the Lord was. But you just hear these people come out. When you see her testimony video, it's just kind of like monotone storytelling. But listen. So today I want to talk about today, the rapture. She wants to talk about? No, she wants to teach you. So I'm just going to come from... Um, You're going to come from what? My point of view. My your point, point of view. view. Has okay. God called you as a new Christian, supposedly, to come out and give you your point of view? No. The Bible has warned again and declared everyone transgressing and not abiding in the doctrine of Christ does not have God. What is it to abide in the doctrine of Christ for a woman? To abide in the doctrine of Christ for a woman who does not have the gift of prophecy is to let a woman learn in silence in all subjection. And I do not allow a woman to teach nor usurp authority over a man, but to be in silence. For Adam was first formed, formed first, then Eve. And Adam was not deceived, deceived into what? The preeminency of the Gaia worship, earth worship religion, that Rothschild and Hillary Clinton wants everyone mind controlled into today. But the woman being deceived has come to be in transgression, but she will be kept safe through the childbearing if she continues, they continue, husband and wife, in faith, love, and holiness with sensibleness. Is this being sensible? These new Christians coming out and telling you that they're going to talk about when really what this is is teaching. And then you have Mario who doesn't even care about who's teaching what. And the word of God comes to pass in the prophet Isaiah that the novice children are the ones oppressing everyone with their unholy doctrines and women rule over them. These women right here, the same ones that want to rule in the Eastern Star. Here she is, the two Eastern Stars right here. You're know, holding, holding hands. You got Bill Clinton. He wants to get back into the White House for 2016, along with Evelyn Rothschild right here. This is the Hillary Gnostic Clinton society that they want to build. She's going to build upon, she says, Obama's heresies and his mind control for the Illuminati hierarchy. And the Illuminati hierarchy is interested in mind controlling everyone into the feminist Gaia agenda of Gnostic cosmology. Now you remember that we also have reported that Irenaeus talks about Akamoth, Akamoth, the formation of Akamoth according to the Gnostic heretics and what they believed about Sophia, Sophia, Sophia who dwells above, which they also term Akamoth. So Akamoth is here, she dwells above, this is Gaia, the same Gnostic cosmology. And that's the whole point of what these mind control slaves, Mario included, along with his friend. You remember God's rules? We did a bunch of videos, which is actually Gnostic rules and lightning liar, as we documented all his erroneous platitudes, where he had a Gnostic trinity, the Gnostic family trinity, where he believes mother are producing the cosmological gods of the new age. This is why they want to bring the mother into the Godhead because the supposed vigilant Mario, who's really vigilant for Gnosticism and boatloads of other heresies, is wanting to put out all the Gnosticism for his slave handlers. This guy's a total liar, total Masonic proxy agent. Here we're connecting the dots for you. So Akamoth, the female Gnostic principle that the Gnostics were believing in, in all things in the Pleroma, that is the Gaia religion, that they believe the female principle is what rules everything, is what they want everyone mind-controlled into. They want everyone mind-controlled into these hierarchical Gnostic 
ideas of female Gnostic cosmology. Now, interesting enough that the Quran in Surah 4 and Surah 5 have the same Gnostic trinity. You see, the Quran also was deceived into thinking that Mary was part of the Godhead. Even though they throw Mary into the mix, it's still a Gnostic family trinity. Ultimately, this leads to the Sophia and the Akamoth idea of Gaia Gnostic cosmology. But what you have with these so-called new converts here, giving their Freemasonic hand signs, is you have them coming out and undermining the scriptures. This is what it's all about. They put them out so that they could start teaching. She's going to give so her thoughts and belief. A year, a year and a half ago, I think it was, I did a Bible study with some friends. Yeah, about. she goes on and talks about how her, quote, Bible study is how she believes that the rapture is a doctrine of fear. Can you imagine? The blessed hope of being with the Lord is a doctrine of fear, according to this Gnostic. You see, I told you over here that the Eastern Stars had a peace chapel. They have this peace chapel where they want the earthly reigning of this peace chapel. That's why they want to get rid of the doctrine of the rapture. They want to get rid of the hope of the believing Christian to be with the Lord. Because what they're trying to set up is a humanistic peace chapel, right? Peace on earth, all this baloney they fill their heads with, with the Gnostic cosmology. She also has another teaching where she's going to teach her opinion about praying in tongues. You see, they're teaching doctrine. And check out my other videos on my YouTube channel, The Other Side of Darkness. Where I have the other um, side of her yin and yang, my deliverance testimony, and more about gifts her yin and her yang. So, today I want to talk about um, speaking in tongues. So, speaking in tongues is one of the more controversial. Oh, she's going to teach you um, uh, September 15th. A valid gift of the spirit. Now, I, I know it's valid, and I don't need no feminist, so called new born again Christian to tell me it's valid. I know what my Bible says, and I'm believing it. But you see, this is how they want to credit themselves she's got to come out because she's probably going to do some gibberish uh, more mind control like what you see over there at ihop so the reality is is that this woman is wearing her costume for halloween still he told her take off all the makeup take off the face powder you know stop painting your hair black and then say that you know you've been born again and then mario comes out and shifts everyone into the masonic hand sign dogma because he's part of the shifting church. Remember, he's part of the church that shifts. We talked a little bit about how he came out of this shift church. This is what they're all about. They're all about shifting people with lies, Freemasonic dogmas and hand signs. She's telling you right there with the duping delight, the crafty eyes right there. This is what she has on her front YouTube channel. So beware of the Gnostic other side of darkness. Stay away from this woman. Stay away from Mario. And until next time, this has been Edifying Others, exposing the deceptions that are put out by novices. And as the scripture says, as for my people, children are the ones oppressing. And women rule over them. O oh, my people, those leading you, cause you to go astray, and they swallow the way of your paths. You see, the way of your past is the abiding in the doctrine of Christ, which includes everyone transgressing and not abiding in the doctrine of Christ does not have God. If anyone comes to you and does not bear this doctrine, do not receive him into your house and do not speak a greeting to him. For the one speaking a greeting to him shares in his evil works. Remember, this is the exhortation. Part of the abiding doctrine of Christ is what God has ordained for women in the Logos Commandments of the New Testament. So until next time, this has been Edifying Others, bringing you another important expose on Mario and the heresies he's facilitating, telling you to stay away from this woman who's wearing her costumes as she thinks she's exposing Halloween when she really is having her permanent costume on as a Christian feminist coming straight out of the Masonic Lodge initiations for mind control slaves. Until next time, this has been Edifying Others, and Lord willing, we'll see you again.